All right, in section three, we're going to look at local government and how citizens can participate at the very local levels. So our local government, there are different types of governments on the local level. First, basic unit of local government is called a county or counties, where um, which is what we have in Nevada. Some states don't call them counties. In Louisiana, they're called parishes. In Alaska, they're called boroughs. Um, but for most, most of the nation, there, you have counties, which are governed by elected board, elected county board. And Susan Brager, who came to our simulation, she was on the county commissioner board for Clark County. Um, now, in some parts of the, of the country, counties are divided into townships. And if you look at this map on the right-hand side here, you can see there are different, actually different townships in, the, in Clark County. Um, depending on where you live, you may not actually live in the city of Las Vegas, but you live in the township of maybe Spring Valley, which is a township of, the Clark, of Clark County itself, or Enterprise, or Paradise. Especially, um, well, like those who, I mean, everyone knows about the Las Vegas Strip, but maybe most people don't know that the Las Vegas Strip is not even in Las Vegas. Uh, it's in the, the township of Paradise, where downtown Las Vegas is actually um, in the city of Las Vegas itself. So when you think of Las Vegas, you think of the, the Strip, and the Strip is actually not technically even in Las Vegas. It's run and managed by the county in the township of Paradise. Um, within counties, you have what's called cities or towns, and um, people have formed what's called, um, these cities or towns also could be called, called municipalities, uh, which is a nation, nation cities. Um, there are nearly 20,000 municipalities in the in all 50 states, um, a municipality gets their legal authority through the process called incorporation. And currently, right now, in Laughlin, Laughlin is a is a is a township of Clark County, but they're wanting to go through the process of becoming a city, and that's called incorporation. They're wanting to take on the services that the county provides for them on their, as their own municipality, like their fire and their police. Um, so, again, there's a difference between a county, township, and a city. Not every place you look on or live at is not necessarily, not, you don't necessarily live in Las Vegas itself. Um, so within a municipality, though, there are three main forms of governments. Uh, there's the mayor-council system, where citizens elect a mayor to serve as a chief executive, and a city council is there, is there to serve as a local legislative for the city. It's like a miniature federal government. Um, in a council manager system, the city council appoints a city manager to be the chief executive. Um, in this system, the mayor's role is to lead the city council itself. Um, but the city manager is actually in charge of all the different agencies. And in a commission system, a group of elected commissioners are led by city departments, and they set local policies. Uh, in the city of Las Vegas, we have what's, a, called, a, what's called a council manager system where the city council appoints a city manager to be the chief executive, and there's a mayor, and the mayor's role is basically to promote or be a cheerleader for the city itself, and they lead the city council. So that's a, the council. We have a council manager system here in, in Las Vegas. Um, special districts. Uh, local governments have a number of special districts. The most known one would be a school district as a special district. Other ones are the water districts or maybe some type of transportation like Las Vegas. We have the RTC, the Regional Transportation Commission. Uh, is that? I think that's what it's called. It's RTC. Um, but those are special districts where uh, they have their own board of members that regulate and make rulings within that, um, that single service that they provide. Services of a local government are police, fire, roads, welfare, hospitals, jails, records, marriages, elections. These are all different types of services that are provided at the local level. Um, you may have noticed that you know Clark County has a local police, and that's called the Metropolitan Police, and they also police for the city of Las Vegas and also any county, Clark County area. And then if you go to North Las Vegas, they have their own city and their own fire department, um, also, same thing in Henderson, because those are separate cities. They're not; they don't have a contract with Metropolitan Police. That's that's the county and city of Las Vegas jurisdiction. But within those municipalities, you have their own set of 
police and fire, and they manage the roads in those areas as well. So services, and then when it comes to finances, um, the bulk of the revenue that a city or county generates money through is uh, taxes or prop property taxes. And so when a city like Las Vegas housing market crashes and the property values aren't as much worth as much, the property taxes aren't going. They're not. The city's not going to generate as much revenue through the property tax because it's not worth as much. And this is a reason why city governments can shrink in size due to property taxes um, diminishing because of a housing market crisis, for instance. And if you look at intergovernmental uh, funds, intergovernmental funds are basically funds given to the city or county from the state, from another government, basically the state government, or even a, um, the federal level as well. So that's the bulk of the revenue. And on the right side of this chart, you can see expenditures. Biggest expenditure is education, um, then health or others, and then health and human services. Uh, so that's kind of how a local level makes money and spends their money. And then how can the citizen participate in the state and local government? Well, everyone should be should take an active role in government and be a participatory citizen in government. And there are a couple ways you can do so in a direct through direct democracy. Uh, one is called one is through initiative. Uh, this process allows citizens to propose and enact state laws or local laws directly to their um, government. The process begins with a number of voters signing a petition, and this bill is then passed on to the state legislator or to the state's or the, the city council or, or the county commissioner, whatever that may be, um, and then this, then directly to the state voters themselves for final approval. So initiatives is one way to be directly involved in participating in government. A referendum is another way. This is a popular vote on a proposal that has already been considered by the legislature. So they have this idea, they passed it, and then they, they um, it's got to be approved by the, the city or the state, pe the people in the city, within the city or state itself. Um, so basically, it just depend it's, it's a difference in between where the, the law begins, um, either by the people or at the, the leg legislative end of it. And then recall is the removal of government official. This gives the citizens a chance to remove an official that they feel like isn't living up to their um, their role or their up to their standards in protecting their citizens, I guess, or just not doing a good job overall. All right, and so there you go, chapter sixteen.